Hi and welcome. Today we will be covering the requirement of the HSC syllabus dot point for the biology activity and temperature chapter. The first syllabus dot point is broken down into three parts which I will go through step by step. Identify the role of enzymes in metabolism. Describe their chemical composition and use a simple model to describe their specificity of substrates. The first part of the dot point is identify the role of enzymes in metabolism. The second part is describe their chemical composition. The third part is to use a simple model to describe their specificity of substrates. The role of enzyme is that they are biological catalysts, which means they speed up the chemical reaction. The substrate binds to the enzyme to form a enzyme substrate complex, and the substrate starts to be broken down. The substrate is broken apart in the last step and new products are formed. New products would also be formed without enzymes, but it would take much longer to happen. Enzymes can keep breaking down substrate as they are not consumed themselves. <coughs> the next part of the syllabus dot point is to describe the chemical composition. So we see in this diagram shown here is an amino acid chain which are building blocks of proteins. Each of these circles are amino acids and together they make proteins. All enzymes are proteins. Okay, the next part of the dot point is to describe a model of enzyme specificity on substrate. In other words, one enzyme only breaks down specific type of substrate. For example, the enzyme maltase only breaks down the substrate maltose. I have two diagrams that show different models. The first diagram is the lock and key model. You see here that the substrate fits perfectly onto the enzyme. The model below is called the induced fit model. The substrate doesn't fit onto the enzyme perfectly, but the substrate forces the enzyme to change its shape. After the product is formed, the enzyme transforms back to its original shape.